Hello my dear sewing friends, it's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity and I am super happy to see you today because we're doing a very useful thing. So in the past, we've transformed a t-shirt into a pattern and this is actually one of the modified versions of that. But today we're gonna do exactly the same thing but with a pair of pants. And pants are a little bit trickier than a t-shirt but still very doable because remember, if I can do it, then you can do it as well. So let's make our pants into a pattern so that way you can use that as a base for all of the designs that you want. So let's get started. You're watching Easy Sewing DIY, a weekly series where I make a simple pattern, then I sew it and love it. Everything is straightforward so you can make it as well. Tune in for new episodes every weekend. So to begin with, you will need to grab a pair of pants that fits you really well. And before we get started into turning them into a pattern, you have to note a few things. First of all, what kind of material is that? Does it stretch? Does it not stretch? You also have to take a look of all of the other features that these pants have. So mine have pockets. It also has a yoke on the back that I'm actually going to skip and I'm just gonna make them straight without any yoke in the back. So definitely take note on any of these elements. And I also know that these pants are a little bit short on me. This was actually a gift from my mom. So these are a little bit short and I think they're supposed to be that way. But I want to make some pajama pants and some palazzo pants from this pattern. So I'm going to note to myself that I have to lengthen them as well. So take your pants, take a note of all of these little elements. There's not that many, but just still take a note and then grab your pencil, your ruler or your measuring tape. And we're gonna start at the side seam. And we're starting at the side seam for a few reasons. Number one, it's going to be our starting point. Number two, it's really easy to measure that because you just take a measuring tape and measure it. And number three, side seam is going to be exactly the same length for both our front and the back piece. Once you have the measurement of your side seam, go ahead and use either a printer paper or a newspaper or I usually use some wrapping paper that has already some grid lines on the inside, which makes it really easy to use it. And you know what? I didn't realize that this one comes with some glitter. So if you see some odd black dots on the screen, that's just that. So it is what it is. Now the side seam of my pants is going to be 28 and a half inches long. And while we're at it, we're also going to measure the hem of my front piece in exactly the same manner as we did for the side seam. And once you have that measurement, go ahead and put that on your pattern paper as well. And I am starting to copy my pants from the front. However, you can do either front or the back, but I do find it that starting with the front is a little bit easier. So the next thing to do is to make sure that you lay down your pants on top of your pattern piece and match the side seam that you just draw with the side seam of your pants and the bottom hem that you just made with the bottom hem of the pants as well. And this one little additional step is something that I do. It makes it easier for myself to identify the positioning once you know you start kind of moving the pattern and moving the pants. I do find a crotch and then I kind of mark it on a side seam where the crotch starts. It's just, I find it easier for myself. And then then what you're going to do is you're going to take a pencil, not a sharpie, a pencil, and you're going to start marking where the inner leg seam of the front piece goes. Now, because the back piece is usually wider than the front piece, you might want to make sure that you fold it over a little bit and you find the true seam of the front pant leg. It is very important to so just make sure that you mark it on the true seam and just go ahead and mark it all the way around. Once you get to the crotch, you're gonna do exactly the same, but you're gonna refold your pants so that way it's a little bit more comfortable for you and you're gonna continue marking it with a pencil. And again, just make sure that everything aligns along the way because we want to make sure that our pants actually fit and look good. Now, the reason why I'm taking all of the measurements with the right side out of the pants is because on the inside, I have this lining, which makes it really difficult for me to see any seams whatsoever. If not for that, I would actually turn them inside out because then it's really easy for you to see where the seam is at and also gauge the seam allowance. However, in this case, it's almost impossible for me to see where the seams are at and the lining moves and just makes it really messy. So that's the reason why I'm measuring everything with the right side out. 
The next thing is I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to outline all the pencil marks that I've just made. Do it with a dashed line, it's a lot easier to do it that way than trying to make a really nice straight solid line. And at this point you might have a question, why did I not curve in the side seam although it seemed like it was curved in. The reason why I did not curve it in is because here I have an elasticated waistband and it, currently it's cinched in. But if you actually straighten out, you will see that the side seam is going to be straight from the top of baseline all the way to the bottom. So that's the reason I did not curve it in on a side seam. And another trick is that if you leave the side seam straight, then if you make just really simple pajama pants, you can actually cut your front and the back piece as one without the side seam at all. So that's a little tip here for you guys. Now let's move on onto the back side of the pants and we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to start with the side seam first, then we're going to draw our hem, and then we're going to take a pencil and mark the inner leg and the crotch area as well. Now you guys remember that I did mention that the back piece of the pants is usually wider than the front piece of the pants. Now the uh, tricky part is that when you lay your pants down, that seam, the actual seam that you want to capture on your pattern is facing away from you and it's actually facing down. So in order for you to mark the true placement of the inner leg seam, what I'm doing here is I'm actually flipping it over, taking my measuring tape, and then I'm measuring that distance and then I'm adding that distance onto my pattern paper. Now once you actually start doing this you will understand it a little bit better but that will give you the true picture of how wide should be your back piece of the pants. And when the front and the back is done we're going to make a few adjustments and then you'll be good to go and make some awesome pants. Alright, so the final adjustment that I'm going to make to my pattern pieces of my pants is going to be concerning the back side. Now if you look at your pants flat, you know, just up front, it looks like, you know, the top piece is just flat and straight. But then if you turn it sideways, you will see that when it gets to the center back seam, it goes up. Now my pattern currently does not reflect that increase. All right, so that's what we need to take care of. And then also the crotch area, usually when I draft my pants from scratch, it goes a little bit deeper. So that's what I'm going to adjust here as well. So since I do not have any extra pattern on top of my pant leg that I already cut out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tape some on top of that. And then I'm going to raise it by an inch. Now, when you make your trial pants, and definitely do that, don't make it right away out of good material. Take some old bed sheets and try it out on your trial material first. And when you make the, the sample, you will be able to adjust the fit where necessary. Now, once that is done, I guess one extra step that we can take is to make a waistband. Now, these pants over here, the waistband is actually just folded over onto itself. Now, I really like these pants, but they really sit on the very hip. And since I really want these pants to be like palazzo pants and maybe some nice loose pants to wear um, at home or at the outside in a garden, I would like for them to be a little bit higher up. So I'm not going to decrease the amount of this waistband on my actual pants pattern. Instead, I'm going to add a waistband of top of that. My waistband is going to be an inch and a half wide. And then for the length of the waistband, you're gonna take your measuring tape and you are actually going to measure your front piece, your back piece at the top, all right? And then you're gonna sum them together and that's going to be half of the length of your waistband. Remember, you're going to be placing your waistband on the fold. And another trick over here is that if you actually curve in your waistband, it's going to sit a lot better on your body. Now, your pattern is ready. If you want to get a little bit more advanced, so to speak, you can mark a few more extra things on your pattern for future reference. First of all, my pattern does not include any seam allowances. I don't make my patterns with seam allowances. You probably know that if you watch some of my other videos. So you can write down that no seam allowances, or if you did include seam allowances, you can write seam allowances equal, however wide your seam allowances are. And then you can mark the stretch direction on your pants if you 
trace this pattern from the stretch pants. You can also mark the grain line as well. So that way when you are ready to cut out your pants, it's really easy for you to understand which way your pattern should be facing on your fabric piece. And that is the pattern that I'm going to be using for making some really cool pants to wear at home, like pajama pants, and I have this really fun, oh, wrong direction. I have this really fun fabric with llamas that I actually got last year, and I had a plan to make these last year, but you know what? Life got busy. So we're definitely making it this year, and I'm gonna be posting the video in a couple of days. So if you are interested to see how the fit is going to look like, what adjustments I'm going to be making, if any, and maybe I'm gonna make the pants with pockets as well. So definitely tune in, and I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you so much, and happy sewing, guys.